want to show you a situation of a company that is going through challenging times. At the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, the firm has to face some government restrictions for the safety of the nation. So the main discussion is about the location of the employees. Are they going to work at home or are they going to work in the company's office? This firm we are talking about has two business divisions, each managed by another leader. One of them is the more bad one and one of them the good one. In our video, video they are portrayed um, by two persons each. One that portrays the more effective side and one the more ineffective. Their ideas and approaches um, on how to manage the firm are going to um, be discussed in this meeting. Hello, let us get straight down to business and discuss what we are going to do. I had in mind to find some kind of controlling system in order to check that our employers will not do anything uh, besides work in their working hours. I want the best uh, for the result for our company. Yes, I agree with you, but also our most important people should come into the office and the others can stay home. So we don't have time to have everybody needs to focus on our, comp our company goals. And since we are not allowed to be in the office once, we need to focus on our employees with the highest responsibilities, I guess. And this way we can still organize our meeting face to face. No, no, no. I would suggest that we do not control our employees, but invent some kind of system to validate their work. Moreover, we need to talk to everyone about their um, home situation. For example, do they have a family and hence working in the company is not even possible? We need to help them with their work-life balance and need to improve their well-being to work in this difficult situation. This way, we can also get better results for our company. Yes, yes, yes. We need to talk uh, to them about uh, their point of view. If they are able to work at home and we, ca we cannot only care about uh, our company, I trust uh, in our employees and I am sure that, that they will not do anything besides working. If they want to stay at home, uh, they are free to do. So maybe they could also change uh, their workplace according to their private life situation. But I think it's hard to find a situation, uh, a solution right now. We could meet again in two weeks and every one of us is implementing their idea to solve this problem. Then we see how the situation evolves and with a good reflection from all of us, we will see what is the best for our employees and our company. Okay, so what did we see in this conversation? The good leaders are trying to see and value the employees' point of views and want to combine the employees' needs with the company's needs. They are empathetic, open-minded, team-working, solution-oriented and respectful. Also, they are very trusting in their employees. Though sometimes their work is ineffective since they are not strict enough and don't portray themselves as authority persons. On the contrary, the bad leaders do not value communication with their employees and act selfish because they mostly see the profits of the firm. Nevertheless, with decisive and validating skills, their leading can be effective. So after two weeks, the leaders talked again and came to the conclusion that the approach of a leader who is empathetic, uh, team working and open-minded is the best. It was not possible con to control their employees and not think about their needs. As a solution, they wanted to invent a well-being questionnaire for the employees. Feel free to read our script to understand the whole situation and the leaders better.